There we go. Got one. Oh, I knew that was gonna happen. Oh, I got him. <laughs> no, exactly. He's just like not here, and I just caught a fish. I don't know where I'm at, but I know where I want to be. Every time. Hey, what's up, guys? It's the Hunter Fisher. Welcome back to another banger epi video. Today, I'm actually out at a lake. I'm not doing any like actual videos right now here at this lake fishing wise. I actually am with Norm today. He's right over there. Can't really see him. That's his cameraman sitting right there. But I'm actually going to be doing kind of like a first impressions on the Guggen Rods video. If anyone really talks to me individually, like I know some of you guys do over DMs and on Instagram and stuff, and I talk about how I'm actually interested in the Guggen Rods and how high of quality they actually are. Because the thing is, is like, I'm gonna be honest, Guggen itself, you kind of hard, it, you find it hard to get behind it sometimes because it is a brand that is what it is. It's all about for show and looking all fancy smancy and all, but I definitely am interested in seeing what the rods are like. So I am gonna do a Guggen rod first impression video because today we're fishing for Norm's video. He's right over there. And I'm gonna be using his rods today because it's uh, the Guggen Gold Series rods. I'm gonna give my first impressions of it, say if I like them, I'm gonna say if they're trash, I'm gonna say my honest opinion. I have put my hands on them and I do have an opinion already, mainly about them, but I haven't gotten to put prolonged use into them. I'm trying to get out of the wind, my bad. I haven't put prolonged use into them and to see how they truly are, but I do want to see how they're going to perform with fishing today. And then I'm gonna do a first impressions right out of the bat, and then I'm gonna do a, like, kind of like a recap after we do some fishing with it today. So I will get back to you guys when we get back to the truck to do some talking about the individual rods. All right, guys, I'm out at the spot and I have the rod with me and it's the Guggen Squad Reaction Rod. Now, my first impressions already is that this rod feels like really nice. Now, I really don't want to sit here and talk about the rod because I feel like everyone's already done that on YouTube. I've seen some videos already of people talking about the Guggen Squad Reaction Rods and the Guggen Squad Series Rods anyways in general. I actually want to get on the water put on a gopro and i'm going to talk about it the spinnerbait tied on for norm's video it's a walmart spinnerbait pretty high quality actually low-key i'm not gonna lie got a pro ti on the rod because you boys know i already had to sport the reel that he gave me and everything but uh yeah it's a 7.2 medium mod rod it's the reaction series it has this little cool catch smart system on the rod i don't know if you guys can see that right there it, that catch smart system is actually really interesting because on the Chop Carl's website, they have a list of baits that fit into the groups of what they put them on, on the rods. And that, I think, makes fishing a lot easier for people who don't know a lot about it. Because there's a lot of rods you can use for a lot of different things. And I really think it's about opinion what you like for the feel of your rod the best. But that's enough of me talking. Let's get the GoPro on and get on that water and start using it and see how I really like it. Okay? You guys stay tuned. All right, guys. We are currently out at the spot. Oh, there's one. There's a fish on the bed right there. And uh, we got the rod right here. I've thrown a couple casts already with it. One thing I love is the grip right here. This grip right here feels really comfortable. I also love this little piece right here. This little, how they have the cork essentially clicks like that. So you know exactly how tight you have it and it gets tighter just like a drag star. And that feels awesome. And if you guys can't tell already, it says reaction right there, the catch smart system. And one thing I also like is the these hook keepers, I usually like a lot more than your conventional just D loops. The D loops are really not strong. They don't ever get the job done. And this is awesome. And this rod right here is a 7.2 medium moderate. That grip right there feels just so, like $450 rod, this feels like really, really 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 high quality like i would say that this is comparable to some dobbins rods some ducket rods i would actually put this above some of my ducket rods that I have but i love this it feels great and i honestly think i might have to get one for myself here in the future to replace a couple of fragging rods but this rod is the the quality i'm not gonna lie guys it is there i'm gonna throw it around some let you guys know but like this rod is so light it is so balanced even with the bait in my hand it just feels like it's right in the right point even though this is 7.2 medium moderate and I'm throwing a spinner bait right now, this feels like super high quality for the spinner bait. And I just don't know what it is. It feels nice. So I'm gonna go do some more casting and give you guys my honest opinion about it after about 10 more minutes, okay? I'm gonna give an opinion real quick of what I'm thinking about this rod so far is it's high quality. It is, I, I mean, for $150, I know it's $150 and most rods you can get nowadays, you can get decent rods for anywhere from 50 to $100. I personally think that there's Oh geez, that goose just scared me. <laughs> but I think 
you have to kind of spend a little bit of money to get pretty good quality here with a lot of bass rods and things lately like there's a lot of people who are making rods that definitely should be higher quality for what they cost and i'm not gonna lie i want to say that this rod is the quality i, I want to say it's definitely a higher quality than i really expected from guggen because i'm like i said i don't like to prioritize guggen because they're guggen but i like to prioritize brands that really really care about their customers and providing good quality products and it's here i mean I, i'm not gonna lie it's definitely a 150 dollar rod that's that's definitely there it's 150 dollar rod it costs 150 dollars it feels like 150 dollars i feel like i'm holding probably even more than 150 dollars in some ways the amount of features you're getting in this rod is just like i i i'm not gonna lie if you guys are wondering if you're really needing a rod and you have things like shop calls and stuff like that to even save more money on top of that I would say that this rod is is everything that people are asking for it to be in more. Sorry, I'm on the fish right now. But uh, it's it's just high quality. It's exactly what people would want for certain applications. I think that this rod feels great for especially crankbaits. This would be a great crankbait rod. Let me hit this bass real quick and make him mad. I'm on a bed right now. All right, guys. I'm currently on this dock. Uh, I'm, I just want to show you guys. I'm literally roll casting underneath the dock. And it's like perfect. If... I don't know if I would say that I even need a shorter rod to get better cast in the stock, but look at that. Like that cast right there, I just got in a corner that was really good for fish hiding out and ambushing a lot of the bait here. And I just think that was so perfect. And I'm using a spinner bait right now, so it's really not an easy bait to get into tight spots, but I definitely think it's awesome. So I just want to show you guys that. Let's do another one just to show I'm, I'm... Oh, that was a little bit messed up for me, but that was my fault mostly. I'm about to throw in front of you. I'm burning my spinnerbait. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. Oh, I got him. <laughs> <laughs> the Walmart spinnerbait. There we go. The All right, guys. Let's get that fish out of release. And he gone. A little dankerson. See, I, actually, I love fighting that fish on that rod because it was just like really easy. And plus, it was like a fight from here to there. So like that wasn't really much of a fight to talk about, but it was a dink. Caught a dink on the rod. So like I could say I put it to the test on the fishing. So definitely giving it a full review so far. I'm liking it. I'm liking the ability to cast like literally so easily is what I'm loving this for. Cause springtime spinnerbait fishing is well actually spinnerbait is gonna work any time of the year, I'm not gonna lie. And that's the reason why I'm throwing this around right now. And plus I've been on a kind of a spinnerbait kick. So I've been wanting to put in the work with the spinner baits recently. So I like it, it worked, that's crazy. So uh, let's get to fishing, catch some more. All right guys, we are out at the new pond, just, you know, throwing around. Uh, I got actually a Texas rig tied on right now for another one of Norm's videos. Uh, essentially a blue baby trench hog in the baby size. Throwing around, seeing how it performs in this reaction rod, even though it's really not what it's meant for, but you could probably use it pretty well. So I'm just chilling, you know, trying to get used to it trying to see if it's any good for texas rigs and uh, i'm casting pretty well having no problem i'm really just curious about the hook set with this rod because it's a moderate versus a fast and i usually like fast tips for texas rig hook sets but we'll see there we go got one There we go. Heck yeah, on the baby trench hog. There we go, guys. What's that? Yep. There we go, guys. He got that on the fall as I was actually texting my dad. So let's get that hook out of his mouth. There we go. <laughs> He's not a little bad boy. He's dark. He was in that pads right there, you know, just chilling. But I got him on that baby blue the blue baby trench hog right there and the junior size right there and she's still rocking ready to go so let's get this bad mom in the water and uh get back to what we were doing all right guys i uh, just caught this is right after that fish and uh caught her on that blue baby color trench hog texas rig with a one eighth ounce tungsten 
on a two-aught hammer hook. Now, honestly, that was really kind of a, a lucky bite, I'm not gonna lie, because he got that on the fall, and he just picked up that little trench hog, said, oh, that's mine now, as I got it on the fall, and uh, yeah, I laid down a hook set with that reaction rod. It was actually a really easy hook set with this rod. It felt really nice, so. And we're just chilling. I'm fishing around these pads and this brush right here, so kind of fishing that thick stuff with a medium action rod and didn't have any problem hook setting him he got that right on the fall just like it right now and it was kind of a good bite not gonna lie got me another fish for the day no exactly. he's just like not here and i just caught a fish <laughs> all right guys so um i just caught a fish and uh i was yeah we were uh, just chilling we were messing around like literally not doing anything norm's currently not here because he went up to a gas station for something and uh well i'm just playing around i'm talking about the gators out here and stuff and uh i just caught another fish on the the blue baby junior trench hog right there i didn't expect to catch that fish at all <laughs> there you go not bad am i right Sheesh. All right, guys, that's it for the video. I figured I'd give you guys a couple of catches and I'd uh, get together here at the end and try to give you like my all in all first day out with the Guggen Rod impressions. Now, I want to be honest as, as honest as I can about this. Those rods are pretty great. I think they're great options for rods for people, especially for people who are beginning out and don't really know exactly what it is they want. And that those rods for somebody who doesn't want to just have one rod that does it all or if they do want to have one rod that does it all they can go with the Guggen Gold go to but if you want like say example you're an angler who's just now getting into it you've been fishing for maybe the past six months to a year and you're wanting to get into a little bit more high-end stuff mid area stuff because what these rods are is mainly kind of low end to a little medium range price range I've kind of noticed and I would say that these rods are definitely high quality and more technique specific than most rods are whenever you start out fishing here. And I think that is completely awesome because, because if we can get more people into the sport of fishing that is more friends and that we can make it on the water, that's more great times that can be made. And it's always a great thing to be fishing rather than do anything else, to be honest with you. And I honestly think they what they've done is kind of a great thing and it's a great option for many anglers out there. I don't think it's a bad idea for sure. I definitely think that people, if you are really curious about what rods you need for your reaction baits, that could be a jerk bait, a spinner bait, rattle traps, any of that stuff, that Guggen Squad Gold Reaction Series rod, perfect for it. I think it's absolutely perfect. Now, what I want, the rod I want to try next is the Guggen Squad Muscle Rod because the muscle rod itself is kind of actually more fitted for what I'm trying to look for in my replacement frog rod because I've been really needing a new frog rod lately because I feel like mine's not stout enough. And whenever I actually got to put a muscle rod in my hands and see what it felt like, I was impressed with how stout it felt. Some people don't think it feels stout, but I thought it was really stout personally. And honestly, these rods, for the money that you're paying in the quality of these rods, I'd say... I have never seen a better cost to value rod offered besides Dobbins and maybe a Ducket. And Ducket, depending on their rods, doesn't always do the same. But Dobbins is one of those rod companies for me that is top of the line, highest quality you can possibly get. And I would compare this to be a close second to it. I wouldn't say it's perfect just because I haven't used them enough to say that it's absolutely perfect. But I'm not going to lie, they are great rods. I can't tell you they're not because they're Guggen. I'm just going to tell you they're straight up great rods. I mean, I'm not somebody who's a big Guggen guy myself. I mean, you see not only Guggen on my board, you see a ton of other brands. You see a ton of Zoom, Strike King, other brands. I have tons of different stuff. I'm not a Guggen loyalist or anything like that. And I'm going to be completely honest with you. I don't have any of the Guggen rods. I haven't actually paid for one. I spent a day with one. I never even paid for it just to see how it felt. And I'm going to be honest with you. They are great rods. They aren't awful rods like I, I thought they would be. Honestly, whenever I saw them come out, I was like, these are just kind of a cash grab. And I felt like that's a lot of what 
certain brands will do, especially when it comes to pro series stuff. That's how I felt with previous Guggen rods in the past with favorite. But now with this come with their own thing with catch company, it's, it's a whole new game out there. And I definitely can believe that they're doing something that not a lot of companies are doing. They're trying to make sure they cover every single base possible to help their anglers in the most ways possible. And it's, there's a lot of respect that goes there. Bumping up their quality and doing something like that good, I can only respect that. So if you guys are wondering really where you can get this, you can get it at Dick's Sporting Goods or you can get it at shopcarls.com. If you guys are actually a Shop Carls member, which I'm not affiliated with Shop Carls at all. I am 0% affiliated with Shop Carls. If you guys are affiliate, but if you guys get a Shop Carls membership, you get a decent discount on these rods. So save yourself some money. So, and if you're buying tackle all the time, Shop Carls is better anyways, in my opinion. I now use Shop Carls because I like it. And I think they're a great company. So <laughs> obviously if I'm now talking great about the rods, but if you guys want to go check the, check out those rods, go to your local Dicks. I think they have the green series in their, uh, green series in the Dick Sporting Goods nearby. And I'm not sure about gold, but they should be at Dick Sporting Goods locally. And then you'd be able to get it on a shop crawls and the Guggen Squad website. I almost forgot about that. Use code norm if you want. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. I want to do more reviews like this. I want to do more bait reviews. I am actually looking forward to trying out a new brand called Sixth Sense here. Now in the past, if you know me, I've talked a little bit of trash about them. So this is going to be a definitely important video. So you guys stay tuned on the channel for that. I'm super excited to film it. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed everything. Um, I think that's it for this video. If you guys can do me a favor, if you guys haven't already, if you want to know kind of some of the, some of the stuff I use, like my tackle bag and things like that, go check out my Amazon links down in the description. It helps me out when you guys click those links and buy anything. And within that time frame of clicking my link, I'm not asking for you to do it for me. If you're buying something on Amazon anyways, click on that link and then go buy whatever you're doing because it always helps me out. And I always appreciate when you guys comment down below. Let me know what you loved about the video. And make sure you guys go check out my Instagram. My Instagram is growing crazy fast. It's awesome. I'm growing crazy fast here. And I really could not say thank you guys more than I can right now. So you guys are the best. And uh, I, don't, I don't know if you guys heard this today, but Fish Fear Me and... Uh, Make sure you guys are having a great time out there in the water. I'll see you. Exactly where this goes. I say we take it slow and let our minds transcode. Let our worries slip away. Just let them all go. Not more about each other. Why you 